Good morning, Internet. I think today we're going to finally get to planting up the terrace. Uh, I have this collection of mums, my echinacea. I might grab a few. I actually might grab a few coleus, uh, even though it's so sunny out here. But sometimes I can get coleus to work in the sun if I really pay attention to the watering. So I'm going to gather up some pots and things and we will do some planting just to beautify our little terrace here so that when we are working in our studio at the desk or sitting in our cafe corner, when we look out, we can see a prettier spot of flowers in front of the sea. All right, uh, let's get to work. A change of plans, I think I'm going to take my uh, wheelbarrow full of plants here, and I think I'm going to plant up this area by the path to our fire pit, which is just off the terrace. Uh, it's an area where you can see I've placed this chair and you can see the sea in the background. I think it'll just be a good spot to film. So I really would like to plant this area up. So I think I'll go ahead and um, we'll do that for today. And then I'll share the terrace potted plantings uh, maybe on Wednesday's video. So for today, let's get to planting up this area and uh, see how it turns out. All right, let's get to it. So today I'm going to, it's early morning now, so I'm going to, well, it's cool. Although I heard today it's supposed to stay in the 70s Fahrenheit, which I'm really excited about. So I'm just going to clear this area uh, and start digging so that we can make our tiny little flower bed um, to make another little stab at our garden, living, gardening tiny in a large garden. <laughs> and this will make us another area for it to sit and visit and to film. All right, so I'm going to get started on that. Oh, I forgot while it's cool to top dress this area. I'm going to use the seashells from our beach. So let's grab a bucket and head on down to the beach. Well, I'm sure it's quite bright here. As I said, it's early morning and the sun's behind me, but time to dig some shells. One bucket of shells won't do it, but it'll give us a start. So now I'm going to lay out um, the plants I have and try it out a few times before I actually dig the holes. So let's do that. This denim and lace um, that I've been covetous of ever since I saw it on um, Garden Answer is going to have the uh, pride of place. So let's start out with this. And this, of course, here is a leftover salvia that needs to be cut back because it got dried out because we didn't have water for most of the summer. The two echinacea. I might go for symmetry here. We'll start with symmetry anyway. We'll move the two echinacea like this. Actually, I wonder if I want this back a bit like this. And that way it can be the backdrop for some other annuals or my mom's and things here. Now, I have the two sedum. So I was going to place those in the ground as well. But I'm wondering, my poor little pots, terracotta pots with the uh, little dwarf conifers, they do not do well out here in the sun. I moved one to the front of our garden, into my shade garden at the beginning of spring. It looked pretty much like those sad little things. And this summer, having only morning filtered light and much more water conservation, it's blossomed. So. I wonder if I should see if I can move the camera towards these here. I'm sure if you can see these flanking our pathway to the fire pit, these little urns. I wonder if I should take out these sad conifers, put them in front, and maybe plant these in the pots. So 
Let's take out this poor little fellow, which I bet will come right out because look at that sad little guy. But let's see. If we took out this fellow and this fellow. And planted these two pots up with sedum, which I love to bake in the hot sun. Let's see how does that look. Can you see that there? I'm not sure you can see it. Can you see that there? <laughs> Don't mind the orange Home Depot bucket. But see, that way, we could put the sedum there. I'd have the two echinacea flanking the denim and lace, Russian sage. And then I could, just for now, place some fun little Okay, I forgot to mention that um, I like to use uh, Espoma Organic fertilizer when I plant flowers and vegetables, which I actually learned about from Garden Answer. Uh, I love the scent, and as she said, it's the smell of success. Some people don't like the scent of it, but I really do like the scent of it. Um, so it's just an organic fertilizer. Normally she uses the um, Biotone, but I did, couldn't, I didn't have access to Biotone, and I have uh, quite a bit of Garden Tone, which I think works just as well. So I'm going to sprinkle this in all the holes here, and then um, we can pop the plants back in and we'll see how it looks. Um, speaking of odd smells, I personally love the smell of this. There are quite a few garden scents I love, and uh, one of my favorite scents is the smell of a horse barn. Even the scent of the chickens when I'm cleaning them out, I don't mind it at all, because it does smell like success, because you know it's going in the compost bin. <laughs> so, all right, well, let's pop in some garden tone and pop the plants in and see how they look. So that's just one bucket that I've got the flowers in and I planted up the two little pots on our path to the fire pit. So let's come in and take a look. So here you can see it will be much nicer when I get more of the stones. Uh, they're actually mainly shells, but there's some sand and stone mixed in. But if you put a good thick layer, it really does help keep the weeds down. But see from this level, look how pretty the, uh, even my disheveled, not well cared for hedgerow this year, but I let a lot of the wild grow in with the on purpose, especially since we had water issues this summer. So but there we have the echinacea, the denim and lace, Russian sage, a couple of moms, which of course are going to flower, but I'll pop those out and replace them with some new moms as the, the flowers die back. And then I'll put those in the greenhouse for next year. Another echinacea. And then what I decided to do here with my two little pots. So as I said, I took out the, the dwarf conifers because they just really weren't happy. Um, but I actually did the sedum and the little purple mums I was going to stick in the, um, on the terrace. I actually decided to uh, put them here. But my sad old cracked terracotta statue, but doesn't it look lovely to see the purple mums, a bit of the wild shell and saute and uh, scallop shells mixed with this and once this pink starts blooming next to that beautiful terracotta that will probably end up in a painting somehow even if I just use the color. So that way flanking our path to the uh, sea and the uh, autumn fire pit will be really beautiful. And yeah so uh, that's today's project. I'm also going to plant some pots up on the terrace as well. Um, I'll probably film that. If not, I'll just show it in the next vlog. Oh, so the other thing I want to do is now that we have this here, I really want to set this up as our another little area to sit and visit with you. So this was my plan to have the chair like this and the table thus. Let me grab a cushion. Now, let's see. How does that look?
there, don't you think that would be a lovely spot to sit and film? With the flowers, the sea behind, I can have my cup of coffee. We can sit and talk about art or gardens or whatever. <laughs> talk about the Chateau Lalande, our favorite subject. Um, but anyways, that's what I wanted to share today. Getting this little bit of the garden done and it is... Um, Again, it's sort of that same philosophy I'm trying to stick with, which is uh, we have a, the house isn't huge by any means, but it's f large enough and we have three acres of land. So I'm trying to garden tiny in a big yard and live tiny in a big house is basically my mantra for this year. Actually, my mantra for 2020 is just to stay sane. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's walk down the garden path and uh, maybe we can end uh, over there, maybe I'll catch some better sun. So you can see how this stretches along and then this garden path here leads to our fire pit and more view of the sea. Well, I think that's gonna do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed um, watching me <laughs> plant things for the terrace. And uh, it was good to uh, beautify that little area. Obviously just a beginning. I think as uh, autumn approaches, I'm gonna keep adding things and. I have some pumpkins and things growing as well, so it might be nice to do some autumnal arrangements as that time gets closer, uh, as it's just a great place to sit and, uh, and shoot and talk. Although now you see I'm now sitting not where I just did all the planting, but down by our fire pit uh, on another spot by the sea, which is another area I'd like to share. Um, in fact, I need to do a video one evening when we're having our evening fires. Although, as it's been warmer, we haven't had as many beach fires as we normally do, and we do tend to have them more on the beach in the summer. Where up here, uh, once it gets cooler, we enjoy having the fires here. So, as the weather cools, I'm sure there'll be some fireside chat vlogs in the future. So, well, thanks for joining me again today at An Artist's Life. Uh, I will see you on Wednesday. I'll also see you in the chats, on socials, uh, at the Chateau Lalande, live chats and vlogs and things as well. Um, I do really feel like now I'm in, I, uh, I'm in a little uh, village somewhere away and we can just meet up at the chateau somehow. All right, well, uh, thank you for joining me today and uh, remember to stay creative. Cheers. <laughs>